Well, Providence was hauled out for winter storage in Newport, Rhode Island when she blew over in a blizzard. And when she did, the uh, jack stand went through her side. And of course, when it hit the ground, the hull shattered in that, in that area. It was about a uh, uh, four by five foot hole. Well, actually we're going to go beyond just the restoration to put it back the way she was. We're gonna go further. We're gonna make the boat be more historically accurate. The hold is going to be rebuilt as it would have been in 1700s. And it will have inside planking, rough sawn inside planking. that will be a, a, a fireplace for cooking, a brick fireplace with a cooking pot. And the aft cabin is going to be uh, more like an aft cabin would have been for a captain of that period with knees and paneling. Back then, there would, would not have been bunks at the time that she was a uh, warship and she would have had hammocks. So we'll have some hammocks slung. There'll be room for, uh, for some cargo and stores. Well, we'll also take advantage of this rest restoration period to make the deck more authentic. We're going to uh, take the gun port doors, which before was just in pieces of uh, fiberglass. We're going to make them appear as they would have been real gun port doors. Uh, we've got some restoration work to do on the deck. Uh, we've got new scrolls to make on the bulwarks. Well, as a floating classroom, the people coming aboard is going to see it more in the period. They'll see some close-up detail that they didn't see before. And the rigging and all that will be authentic as we can possibly make it for 18th century. Uh, of course, we have to have everything has to be Coast Guard compliant because we are going to be taking passengers on sails away from the dock. And we have the Coast Guard on board. They come and they look at every phase of the work we do. They've already been checking on the hull and they are looking at the masts as we're building them. When we're done, it, it will look just as it would have appeared when uh, John Paul Jones was in command of the ship.